mess with that. <clears throat> okay, so I have this bag of coins. I think my dad put it in my room. And we're just going to count them and we're going to see how. Here, my mouth. Like, what's the oldest? What's, I guess, the most recent one? And this video or in a next one, we're going to see how valuable they possibly could be. If not, then, well, I'll just keep the money. So, I don't want to dump all of this out. Because even though it doesn't look that much in the bag, having this outside of the bag is going to create more of a mess. It probably is like a pound or two. But it feels more because I did a upper body workout this morning. Okay. So we'll just grab a handful at a time. Oh. And I'm not just putting this on the table because that would... Whatever dirt is on these coins will get on the table. And I'm trying not to do that. So I have old paper that used to be important and no longer is. And it has like one side where it's blank. So I could still use it for like um, scratch notes or just something to write down real quick. And then I'm able to like shred it or recycle it because I've used it fully. So that's what I do. Um, and also some printers don't print double-sided. I know like my school computer, uh, computer, laptop, whenever we, laptop, printer, my school printer at our library, we would send, um, our documents to that printer and it only prints one-sided. So all the essays I've written have gone into the scratch um, pile the ones I've like printed at school and I just use the side that has no writing on it so yeah so I'm going to put half of it onto these stacks of paper the stack of paper and I'm ready I could tell we have tons of quarters but, hold on. I need one piece of paper to be, at least for now, the note-taking one. All right. So, yeah. That's probably going to be rewritten a, t a lot of times. All right. This one's a quarter. It's from 2013 and has Maine on the back of it. Organize these coins. Hello? Are you okay? You're just going to chill there, boy? Okay. My dog's down there.
Oh, look, 2019, 2015 are getting friends now. They're not alone anymore. That's annoying. Okay, so we basically filled up this whole sheet. And my hands look like dirt. I know they're not like dirty, dirty, but this hand, <laughs> the tips are, well, they're black. So that's it for the live stream. And do as the sign says, like, and I said that backwards. Subscribe. <laughs> him like okay so i almost knocked this over that would have been bad and apparently i have to watch where i step down there okay good all right so as you see there's a pile of coins if you want to know how this went go check out part one which we did a few days back, and I'm kind of scared to move it. Oh, look. Okay. Now the coins moved away. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, that is a lot of coins. That took me about an hour because I tried to put them in order while try to separating the coins as well. So today, Sorry, I had to move that. So today, I'm just going to be separating the coins. And by separating, I mean by putting the quarters with the quart quarters with the quarters. I just realized you didn't see that. And I'm going to be putting the pennies with the pennies, dimes with the dimes, nickels with the nickels. So that's how we're going to do it today. Hopefully, it will be more efficient and not as time-consuming as this took. Elsewhere. All right, as I scratch my nose, even though I shouldn't, that's okay. Grab a sharpie real quick. Okay, so I have a piece of paper in front of me, and I'm just going to count all of these. So we got quarters. You get 312 coins, while the dimes and quarters you get to 120 of, which means there is 192 more pennies and quarters in total than there is a total of dimes and nickels, which honestly turns out to be a lot. Okay, so... Because in total, we have from dimes and nickels, $10. From quarters and pennies, we have $41.04, which means there's $31.04 more of quarters and nickel, quarters and pennies combined than there is of nickels and dimes. I think I said that correctly. Just know that when you're looking, when you have a bag of coins in your house, most likely the quarters and pennies are more than the dimes and nickels, like in total amount. So yeah. We're gonna organize just the quarters by the oldest coin to the most recently made. So we're going to do that. Okay, so 
we got two, uh, 1965. Looks like in good condition. Do I see a difference from the most recent ones? No, it has no letter near it. All right. So we have one from 1965. That's how much 13 coins quarters look like from 2020. Okay, so, in, pot, in stack, I dropped the coin. I dropped the coin, of course I dropped the coin because I dropped the coin. Okay, this is stack one of 15 quarters from 1965 to 1979. Yes. I'm going to put this far out because my nose is really itchy. And then this stack is all the 1980s, which there is 12 of as I kicked my table, which was not a smart thing because I have a lot of stacks of coins on this table right now. Not good. No, 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 no. Okay, this, I have to move this over so it fits, because I have to do this a few more times. That was weird. Okay, I should have written down how many was in each. So stack one at 15. You had 12. You had a lot. Uh, this is the third stack, eight, five, nine, 13, 14, 16, from 1990 to 1998, 16, right there. 16 quadras from three, nine years. Where did I get the three? By dividing nine by three? I, by doing nine divided by three? I don't know. Stop singing. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay, anyways. This one has 12. That's easy. Because it's all the coins from 1999. 12 coins right there. Flip it. And don't mind my scrunchie. It's there because an unknown reason to my mind right now. And now we have 12 from all 2000. Just 2000. Just that year. All from that year. That is our fifth stock. And now this is where it starts slowing down a bit because for some, not for some reason, as expected, there's a lot of coins. Um, no, there's a lot of, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Multiples in years after 1998 because here is, hold up, our stack Six, which is seven coins from only 2020 and 2001. <laughs> Making sure that they don't fall. And then we have 12 in our fifth pile from 2002, 2003, and 2004 right there. This looks very satisfying because it looks like a big uh, tower. It looks like buildings. Hello. My mind is working. Yes. And then our eighth stack has 10 coins from 2005 to 2006. I don't know what I just said for a few seconds, but that's all right. I don't know if it made any sense. I know what I said. And then we have in stack nine, 10 coins as well. From 2007 to 2008. Yes. 
I almost knocked the eighth pile down. That was not been going. No, no. Okay. And then we have 15 in our 10th pile from 2012 to 2015. Yes. Okay. And I know we're nearing the end, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell so you know next time when I do this with the dimes. Okay, back to stack 11, which is messing around on my piece of paper. Stack 11 has 10 as well. Why? Because we were on a 10 streak. And this is from 2016 to 2015. That sounded funny. I don't know why, but it did. So, yeah. And another stack of 10 in our 12th pile, all from 2018. Why? Because I, I found a lot, of coin, a lot of quarters from that year. Because why not? And then our 13th pile has 16, which is from 2019 to 2020. And 13 of these are from 2020. That quarter almost knocked down a pile of nickels, a nickels, and I would have been fine if it did because it wasn't my stack of quarters that I have 15, 14 of. Why? Because there's a lot of quarters. If you didn't remember, we had 178 quarters, which I thought my paper fell. It equals out to nine, no, six, no. 39 and 50 cents. And then our last stack, stack 14 has four coins from 2021. Why? Because they chose to. Sweet. All right. Gotta get this. Okay. So as you can see, we have 80 dimes to work with. And earlier, we had 100 in uh, uh, 58 quarters, so this will go much quicker than um, earlier did. That is three from that year, and I'm going to fix something real quick, because that, is... that happened. <laughs> Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and like, especially for that funny um, mishap. <laughs> the dimes. Like we did with the quarters in episode part three. So if you. I almost knocked that down over again. If you want to go check out that video, it's linked below where we did this madness. So let's start, shall we? Okay, so this first stack is has 1996 all the way until 1989 and total of 13 dimes. Yes, had to make sure I was saying the right coin right there. And then this next stack also has 13 dimes and it goes from 1999. Nope, sorry, 1990 all the way up to 90. From 1990 all the way up until 1999. A lot of 90s, yes. <laughs> all right. Get this over here so it doesn't fall on top of the other coins. And it's almost, that's not fun. Okay, and so our third stack has 12 coins from 2000 all the way up into 2005. Let's add that. <gasps> Oh no, my quarters from the previous part almost toppled over. Not good. Okay, so our fifth stack 
No, sorry, Forge Stack has 12 dimes from 2007 all the way up into 2014. All right. Add that to the pile of coin stacks over here. Oh, no. Don't topple over, please. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. If only you guys could see this. Oh, my. No. Why is it? The fourth stack does not want to go next to the others. Okay. The fifth stack also has 12 coins, 12 dimes from 2015 to 2017. All right. That four stack almost toppled over. Okay. This six stack has 10 coins from 2018 to 2019, which had our most um, uh, dimes from one year, that being six from 2018. And then our last stack, our seventh stack, which I forgot to number. That cap almost fell down. This is our smallest stack, as I put Sharpie on myself. Our smallest stack, and it's from 2020 all the way up into this current year, 2021. So while the quarters, we had 14 stacks. The dimes, we had seven, and the ironic thing is between the quarters and dimes, the longest, um, the oldest coin was 1965, which were found in both the dime and the quarters, and the recent, uh, most recent coin was 2021 from both of the dimes and quarters, meaning the age the year gap is 76 years, which is honestly a long time to have a coin around. So yeah. All right. All right, all right. As you can tell, we got 40, I was going to say quarters. We have 40 nickels, which equals to $2, which is nice that it equals to an even number, in my opinion. So in part four and three, we did nick we did quarters and dimes. So if you want to check those out, it's linked below. I had it set up beforehand, so it's all good. Um, so here is 16 nickels, while the other... For uh, 24 have already been organized from oldest to the most recently made. And I always have to incorporate these 16 into said pile. And one from 2019, which means we do not have a coin from this year of 2021. So really that means our oldest coin from our most recently made that we have here is only 70 years apart since we do not have a nickel from 2021. We have from 1960 all the way up into 2020, 60 years difference. So even though that is our most years um, difference, our biggest gap, um, it is not the biggest as it could be because if we did had a nickel from 2021, it would be 61 years. So yeah. So now we have to take a piece of paper. I have to take the Sharpie, move this sheet of paper to the side, and start writing the years of our nickels. Uh, I wouldn't say in a stack overall, but it's our least amount of stacks from one um, coin. One coin meaning uh, between the quarters, dimes, and nickels. This is the least amount of stacks with three, while the dimes had seven stacks and the quarters had 
14, nope, 14 stacks, yes. Okay, so just to recap before we move on. This first stack is a 28 years difference from the first coin and the bottom coin. It has 13 nickels from 1960 all the way until 1988. I almost said 68. <laughs> In between the quarters, dimes, and nickels, um, the nickel that is 1960 is our oldest coin that we have from this pile of coins. We'll find out if that's true in the uh, pennies when we do the pennies. So the second stack has 15 nickels from 1989 all the way into 2005, which is, let's see. A 16 year difference, yes. To make sure it doesn't fall out of order. Okay, there we go. All right, and then our last stack for the nickels is 12 coins from 2006 to 2020, making it 14 year difference, and meaning that our coin from 1960 is 60 years apart from our old, uh, most recently made coin that we have in the nickel pile. All right.